So, I've had a really long day, so I was just going to film a video of me problem drinking and watching Mean Girls, but luckily, thanks to our friends over at Zounds, I have something a little better for you today. Oh, fuck. I fucking hate being short. Much better. So we have a brand new Gibson Les Paul Classic. Let's see, first of all, I'm liking this case a lot. Woohoo! Look at that. Beautiful. The case matches the guitar. All right, let's see. So out of the box, I'm gonna say this already looks way, way, way better than it does in pictures. That shine is just gorgeous. And it doesn't seem like there's any scratches or anything like that. Let's see what comes with it. We got our, eh, it's like pleather, it's not real leather, but it's a nice strap. Probably won't be using this, but nice that they add it. Ooh, nice. Gibson certificate. Date, model number, serial number. Very cool. Also keep in mind, I haven't bought the guitar since high school. So this is miles ahead of, oh wow. It's a picture of a, uh, this guitar on the inspection line, I guess. That's pretty sweet. And we also got, let's see, ooh, a little goodie bag. We got gold warranty card. Blah, blah, blah. Don't give a shit. Let's see. Ooh, cleaning cloth. That's a nice one. What else? We got our owner's manual. Pretty nice. Don't really need that. Oh, there's something heavy down here. Ooh, toolkit. That is super, super, super helpful. Nice. Let's get all this shit out of the way. Okay, so. First little, oh. Gotta get my pick. All right, first little inspection. Let's see. Pretty in tune, that's a good start. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie. First thing I noticed, this fretboard's a little dry. I could use some, uh, some lovin'. Um, not a big deal, but, you know, just a little, uh, a little disappointing, to be honest, when you pay $2,000 for a guitar. I kinda want it to be ready to go out of the box. Um, action set really low, so I absolutely love that. String tension doesn't feel too high. Um, that's a big plus for me, but it depends how you like your setup. See, I haven't, I don't really have any guitars with the open coil pickups. These kind of look like they have tape around them or something like that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll, uh, I'll put a close up on there later. Uh, but then again, remember, I don't have an open coil guitar and a definitely not another Les Paul for comparison. Maybe that's how they are, and I'm just an idiot. I don't know. Um, okay, those all move. Nothing's falling off, nothing's loose. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Let's see how it sounds. So let's check intonation. That's pretty good. 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 Yeah, the E and A are a tiny, tiny bit off, but 
Seems like it's set up pretty well out of the box. So that's a huge, huge plus. Oh, and on top of that, it smells like sweet. It's like vanilla, I think. It's a sense of plus. The case smells like that too. So it's a nice rewarding, uh, I just bought myself a gift smell when you open the case the first time. Hopefully, I wonder if it keeps that. I want my car to smell like that. All right, enough of my crackhead shit. And can't forget to mention, uh, let's see, I don't know which one does what. One of these is supposed to have some sort of phase canceling. The other one does, um, bypasses the tone stack. So, let's see. supposed to be listening for but uh that's doing something but sound pretty twangy, a little brighter. I don't know if I want that in neck pickup. A little bit of a gain boost, actually, I guess, since you're bypassing the uh, tone stack. I guess they're cool features if you want them. They're there. It's a nice option. Um, I'm probably never going to use them. I don't know what the fuck they do. Um, but I do like the coil splitting. Again, it'll probably piss off a lot of uh, people that love classic, real, vintage, classic Les Pauls. But um, I, I like it a lot. And um, especially for, uh, you know, I'm trying out a whole bunch of different pedals. I like the versatility. But yeah, I'd say this thing sounds and plays fantastic. Um, the only big downside, not even big, but um, the only downside I gotta complain about a little bit is the fretboard feels a little dry, but I guess that's not a huge deal, like I said. Um, this has the nine hole weight relief, so this is pretty light. Um, still heavier than most other guitars I've played, including my old Les Paul Studio and definitely my LTD EC, which are both pretty much the same body shape. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could play a full gig with a uh, full Les Paul standard with all that weight, but this feels pretty great, I gotta say. And it looks pretty. I feel powerful wearing this. So I guess that's all I have to say. Um, if you want to Stick around, I'll play a little bit more, but hopefully I answered some of your questions and didn't come off like a total idiot.